Okay, so we'll see a process of balance calculation in high C. So what, uh, what I've done is uh, simply, uh, um, let's see. Um, so we have a source pressure of, of 1000 kilopascal. And then, the, um, so first we, we do this um, in this study set. So we have a valve and then a vessels, and then the, um, it's typically like a majority of air. So I put air and a little bit of water just to get some, some level in there, which are really useful. Uh, but nonetheless, so and then you have also another source of air, 1000 kilopascal, and then they are going to be mixed with this whole vapor line, going to be mixed, and then we have like um, uh, outlet pressure fixed at uh, 150 kPa. Um, the goal is then to see how the pressure balance would be if we have some changes in the in the in, uh, in the source pressure, and if we have some changes in the vessel pressure itself. Yeah. Um, and then I put here like the PC. This is the pressure control for this vessel, 101. So I put it on top. Um, set pressure of uh, 700 kilopascal now. Uh, opening valve is 50. And then this then the pressure control for the, uh, for the low one, uh, PC100. So set pressure is also about 700. And then the current uh, valve opening is 30%. And um, this is stream 6 and stream 12. Um, both are coming from yeah from yeah from the respective vessels and then they are now about 100 each kilogram per hour 200 kilopascals and then um, and then we have also this is then the flow rate that I put uh, the graph so it's uh, now steady state so we can see um, the green line uh, green line is that this line and then the red line is this line. The same goes for this pressure, I think. Uh, we'll see. So green is also these uh, vessels over here. Yeah. And then blue is pressure. Uh, sorry, red is pressure over there. Just to make things consistent. Otherwise, we'll get confused. And then uh, blue is then this pressure over here. The overall stream number 13. And then I have here like liquid vessel, which is not really, uh, not really uh, uh, useful because only like droplets of liquid. So this is for that, and that's for this one. Um, okay, we'll see. So it's uh, everything I run everything like until it's uh, reached steady state. Um, we go to dynamic. It's already in dynamic mode. I put an integrator. What I do now here is to make things faster. See if we can do that. So I am um, real time, but then ten times of the real time. So that's basically what it is. Okay, so let's run this, see what happens. Um, yeah, so it's now on the steady state. So now, if we uh, now, due to whatever reason, due to whatever reason, increase this pressure, right? Uh, obviously, because we have a set pressure here at 700, if we increase this pressure uh, with the same uh, 700 and then it will have more gas coming to it so it will have an increase in this pressure and then we will then have to open this valve right because it sets to be open uh, so if the pressure increases and then we open the valve so it's a direct uh, control valve so you open the valve and then it will have more gas going in this direction and then we'll see what happens what impacts it has to the uh, to the other vessel, right? So that's the uh, the idea. So uh, one thousand. So we increase it to one thousand one hundred. Voila. Uh, we'll see. See what happens in the pressure. The green one over here on the bottom. So see the pressure increases as expected because because the pressure now uh, we have a high pressure at the source. And hence, um, there will be more gas coming into the pressure. The pressure in the vessel goes up, and then the flow rate as expected as well, because this pressure goes up. The flow rate as goes through here is also going up, but uh, the uh, the flow rate, the other the flow rate for the other one from the other vessel, it stays constant. See, you can see it's a uh, constant. Right, so it's only going up a little bit, so that means the controller works very fine. I mean, it was working very well, right? So, um, not so much of um, um, happening, right? 
so it goes up and then um, we'll see until it stabilizes and so you can see now in this junction um, the pressure from for these two strips they are the same and should be the same because they are commingled it's just that um, it wouldn't alter the upstream situation in this case you know the pressure is uh, going down stabilized very slowly um, can I see that 10 times faster yeah it's 10 times faster than the real time it's um, it's fast enough to um, to get to the yeah to the new change but it's uh, slow enough so that we can see uh, the changes okay so I think it's all stabilized so we'll have um, we'll have uh, we'll see because this is now still set at 700 uh, kilopascal because of this uh, slightly different pressure that's a two, uh, it's um, 508 right and then this is like 500 more than 508 slightly um, right and then we have a, a higher pressure in the upstream so that means uh, for the same pressure difference right because delta delta p here is at three three bar 300 kilopascal uh, for a certain flow rate uh, which is in this case then this flow rate 100 but then in the other the vessel we have 400 kilopascals difference so because of this delta p we'll have a higher flow rate going through continuously through this stream six which you can see now they are stabilized uh, one stays 100 the other one increase from 100 to 117 kilograms an hour so that's the effect of um, uh, increasing the pressure at the source over here um, right um, and then we'll then do another one see if uh, time permits if we increase this set point to um to 800 yeah to 800 so we could either do click over here um which is a safer way compared to this one but we could also do it there 800 hey sorry um, um this one 800 is on this part right yeah, so 700 um yeah it's not entered okay uh now we have, i need to change this guy to 800 enter As you can see now it reduces the valve opening so that it will then accumulate more gases in here so that it will then reach the pressure of 800 and then you will see then the flow because it reduces the valve opening it will then reduce the flow that goes through here because it needs to accumulate pressure in here from 700 to 800 you can see a dip right you can see a dip there and then it will then start stabilizing the the flow rates um, uh, while it's also reaching the, the the set pressure in this vessel so you can see the pressure goes up to reach the new step the steady state and then the, the flow rate drops a little bit and then it starts to back up a little bit and um, and then we'll see how much the flow rate would be right so following the same logic we should be seeing because um, uh, it goes from 700 to 800 so it means the delta p from here to there across this valve is going to be increasing from 500 to 600 kilopascal so we would expect a higher flow rate in this line compared to this line because this guy stays constant at about 500 kilopascal um, we'll see time will tell that's our guess for now yeah it's stabilizing now the pressure goes um, stabilizing so you can see now when we change the set point at somewhere here it's 85 it's 90 it's well maybe 87 something and then it reached the new set point at uh, 102 3 uh, so it's about how much is that uh, 15 minutes it 
takes to reach the uh, the new steady state. I think this is now stabilized. New steady state point has been reached. Uh, pressure is um, 800 kilopascal. And then we can see the flow rate is slightly increases from 100 to 106, right? Not so much. Um, uh, there's not so much of an effect compared to if we keep this pressure constant, right? This pressure constant, uh, same as 700, but then the pressure upstream is changing. So we have like a higher pressure drop over here and then that creates uh, the whole higher flow rate, right? It was 117 or something. Uh, now, if we increase this guy a little bit and the pressure difference between this stays um, 300, like this guy, it also stays 300, right? So that means the gas flowing from here to there is the same amount. Uh, I mean, uh, we have the same delta P. Uh, it's just that when we increase this slightly a bit, and then this will only increase slightly uh, because of this junction. So it will increase the flow rate over here, but uh, it doesn't affect the flow rate over there because we have a controlled pressure here. So I think that's it for now for this uh, pressure balance, right? For other scenarios, you can think yourself and then they can play around as well. Bye-bye.